we will see how to install Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch requires at least Java version 7. But the developer suggests that it is preferred to use Java version 8. So you can check whether the Java version is installed or not on your system by using Java command. You can use Java. Here you can see the help button. It means you have Java installed or you can try Java hyphen version. So on my system I have 1.8. So make sure that you have 1.8 version on your system. If not, go to Oracle website and download the latest Java version. And the next one is, so now we have to download Elasticsearch. The downloading of Elasticsearch is pretty straightforward. I will add the link in the resources so you can go to that link and download the Elasticsearch. So and the installation of Elasticsearch will be varied from operating system to operating system. If you are using a Windows machine then try to download zip file. If you have Unix, then download tar file. And even if you have Mac, then also you have to download tar file. So here, depend upon your operating system, according to that, download the Elasticsearch. So if you go to the link, So go to the address https colon slash slash www.elastic.co download slash elastics search If you go to that URL, then you can see the different file types of the file. And you can also see that the latest version is Elasticsearch 2.4. So I am using Mac. So according to that, I downloaded that tar file. If you see here, I downloaded Elasticsearch 2.4.0 version. If you see here, after extracting the files, you can see a bunch of files here. Then from here, make sure that you went inside the Elasticsearch folder and then go to the binary folder by using cd space bin okay now i'm inside the bin folder so i have the this list of folders and files now to run the elastic search just use dot slash elastic search here the file elastic search is executable file so we can see my server or my one of the node is up. We can see that. So everything goes well and we should see a bunch of messages here, the starting of messages. You can see a node name called Virgo. We haven't set it up anything, but by default, 
it is picking randomly some name and it is giving this name for the node so if you don't want to take the default name if you want to specify a particular name to the this node then we can do that okay now i stop the server then instead of starting the server with the default name i want to give my own name so i will use elastic search then hyphen hyphen node dot name you have to remember this if you want to give custom name then you have to use this command while starting the elastic search so dot slash elastic search space hyphen hyphen node dot name and then the name of the server you can give anything i will give my node so you can see my node is starting up you see my node so in the previous case it is virgo now it is my node and also if you see here 127 0.0.1 .0 .1. it doesn't it is nothing but it my node is running on the local host and this 9200 it is the port number if you want to access the elastic search you can simply go to the this address we will try that once I'm copying this the host name and the port number and I'll go go to the browser so I'm pasting the link 127 0.0.1 .0 colon 9200 if you see here it means we got some output it means that the server is up and it is reachable so now I will shut down the server now the server is running so by using control C command control C I'm pressing both control and C at a time so I stop the server now if you go to the browser and reload it again now the site can't be reached means the server is down so I think it is clear so in the next lecture we will try to learn more about the cluster. Thank you.